Hey everybody, we're here at the Metropolis Illinois ASA tournament. It's been extremely wet and definitely warm this weekend. And uh, I'm here with our shooter, Miss Julie Griggs. She shoots the women's uh, Open B class and she won this weekend. So tell us a little bit about your weekend. Well, like you said, it's wet and muddy, and so the ranges were a little challenging mm -hmm. as far as footing and, and just, you know, being able to walk and, and get from one stake to the next. Yeah. Um, yesterday, I shot pretty decent. I shot eight up. That was our known day. Okay. Um, I left a lot of points out there. It was one of those, I shot well, but didn't score well type of days. A just, lot of Just right there at them, but couldn't, couldn't Right, just them. out. A lot of yeah. just outs. And I've been struggling with my yardage a little bit and not really trusting my numbers, and so I've been working on that, and I went out there today and... and just tried to have more confidence in my numbers because today is our, our unknown day and yeah. I just kind of played it safe though and just really didn't give any up. I, right I, I, yeah. I left a couple out there and I had some 12s that were just out but I wasn't really gunning hard at them so it, it all worked out in my favor and I wound up with the first good game plan so how did uh, the mud and water affect y'all or did you guys have much on your range some ranges had a pile some didn't I know my range I could wear my tennis shoes other ranges, people had mud up their knees. <laughs> yeah, our both days, our uh, ranges were really muddy. And, yeah. again, the footing was challenging and walking was very challenging. Yeah. So what uh, what did you do different this tournament versus last? Did you change your setup any, uh, play anything different that you kind of did? Um, well, not really. Like I said, um, my numbers, I haven't been real confident, mm -hmm. confident in myself in my numbers, so I kind of played that part safe. Um, I was hitting high yesterday consistently, and so it took me a few targets to kind of get my tape figured out about where I yeah. needed to, to set it to start hitting 12s. Gotcha. And once I figured that out, then things started rolling. Started clicking along. Yeah. Okay. And so really my game plan, other than knowing that my numbers weren't coming to me as solid as they normally do, I, mm -hmm. that was probably the main thing I did over last time in London was so just, just a little more conservative. Yeah, being a little unknown. more conservative mm -hmm. on your day. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Staying just working on confidence building yes definitely good. and this ought to be a good confidence it builder. is it is <laughs> I, I told my family I said I, I finally got the metropolis monkey off my back good so. yes I'm still working on that yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> this is to me I like this venue and it's mm -hmm. close to home for us so that's a good thing for good. us but to me it's always challenging because it's either hot or it's rain in here or it's this a, weekend both or like this weekend both and so it's hard to I think stay focused and yes. take care of your body and your nutritional needs and your physical yes. needs and still stay focused on your shooting as well. Yeah, that's definitely definitely a hard one. Yeah, I think so. Well, congratulations on this weekend. Thank and you. And we look forward to seeing you at the Classic. Yes, where you're going. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you.